This video, we're going to talk about coping versus thriving. Wherever you live in the world, just look around. You'll see the average person being the average person, living a more mundane, derp type of lifestyle, not really expanding their consciousness, not really taking themselves into anything that they're afraid of or dangerous, just living the simple, basic life, coping. Now, when an individual is coping, they're not really aware that they are coping, right? Because coping comes from past trauma and certain shadow work that was never done on a particular person. So when we talk about coping versus thriving, we have to pick a side of the polarity because you are the main key. You are the source of all energy, whether you know this or not. So regardless, you're either living in your higher self at any given time or you're living in your lower self at any given time. It's this or it's that. If you're just somewhere in this gray area of in between, you don't really know, that's called being lost, all right? So let's just keep this clear as day. You're either moving towards the better version of yourself or you're deliberately, unconsciously, would be a better word, you're going backwards into a realm that doesn't exist anymore, right? And what I mean by doesn't exist anymore is most people that are coping, they're seeing the world from a perspective of what it used to be like for them, right? So if you see someone that looks at the world as like people are crap, it's a negative planet, blah, 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 that's stemming from a past situation or circumstance that a person has went through in their lifetime and they haven't let that thing go. So that's created a physiological response in their body language and the words that they speak or even the words that they don't speak that's causing causing them to compress their feelings, compress their emotions. Therefore, they're dealing with the reality that they've created for themselves. And this is what you call coping, literally just tolerating, right? Like, you know, you can do more, be more, have more, maybe you do or you don't, but regardless, you're not in a state of maximum output. You being a human being, you're doing yourself a horrible injustice by you not expanding on what you already are. You didn't come to this world to be compressed, to be let down, to be held back and not expand. This is why chakras are so important. This is why energy work and meditation, magic even is so important because it gets that lower aspect of your quote unquote reality out the way and it puts you back in tune with the proper perspectives that are guaranteed and gonna, going to be your catalyst in leveling you up to that next level. Your thoughts are creating your emotions, which are creating your behaviors, all right? Now, your body needs certain type of high-frequency foods continuously in order for it to have, you know, a high-frequency output, right? Your brain, it needs high-frequency thoughts and energy shot into it so that it can have high-frequency output. Same thing for your business. A lot of people are having, you know, your business may be falling or it's crashing, it's going down. It's because of you not being at high frequency, gathering the right ideas, knowing the the where the, the actual things that have to take place in order for you to expand and get the business out the slump. OK, so you have people who are coping, who are dealing with life, who are used to what they're tolerating and they don't have the energy anymore to expand and break through that level of resistance because they're literally internally exhausted they're exhausted from the same thoughts over and over they're like literally when you really think about this right like the average person thinks that tomorrow is going to be a better day the average person doesn't go hard today because there's some they think that they're going to be alive tomorrow to you know make this chance better and and so on like if you look at this from a macro perspective you can clearly see bro like there's no such thing as a day a day is an illusion in your mind, just like time is an illusion in your mind. You understand? Like time isn't real. Clocks are real, right? Because it's physical, something you can touch and whatnot. But in all reality, there's no such thing as a clock. There's no such thing as a day. Now, people are wasting days. You believe in a day and then you do nothing because you're somehow, you know, the, the coping person thinks that tomorrow is going to be a little better. It's going to be a little. There's no tomorrow. There's just hours that you're aware and then there's hours throughout the time of your existence that you're unaware. And then sometimes you're literally just sleep and you're knocked out. You're not in this particular realm of consciousness, but it's still the same you, it's still the same moment, it's still the now. Even if you're sleeping, you're sleeping in the now. 
You understand? So thriving. Now, when a person is thriving, this is an individual who can only see things from a bigger picture and a high frequency output as far as what it can become, not what it looks like right now. When you're thriving through the world and you're making things go and bend to your favor, right, by any means necessary, you don't have to step on nobody, you don't have to hurt anything or anything. You're just living with intention and you're actually deliberate with everything that you do, everything that you say, every place that you put your time, your energy, and so on. An individual, even me, when I'm when I'm thriving, it's because I was previously coping with a certain level of my life, right? Like if I'm I'm either going to I'm either all the way thriving or I'm all the way coping to some degree. All right. Now, thriving gets results. Thriving shows me that I love myself. And I didn't know that I was even coping for so long in certain levels of my life because it was just really comfortable. And if you're an intelligent person, you know that comfort is like murder for the most part. Like comfort, there's nothing, there's nothing expansive and, and growth related when it comes to comfort. When I think of comfort, I think of coping, I think of routine, I think of regular degular, right? Same, same, but different. When we're talking about thriving, it's literally a surprise. Like if you you know that your life is in thriving mode when every day feels like a surprise because of you're rolling off of the energy that you were just on hours ago or yesterday, like people like to call it, right? Thriving. Things you got to understand, like I'm not trying to make this video long and crazy law of attraction and, and things like that, but you got to understand the vessel. You are the vessel. You're not going to be taught this throughout your lifetime because it wasn't, the society is a really interesting world. It's a really interesting place, okay? But you are the vessel. You're in tune with your emotions. You're even in tune with the emotions of others around you all right now it is your job to be supreme it's your job to be self-aware so you can expand beyond what you think and what it appears to be and you get into the stage of knowingness and confidence and it has to be like there isn't any other way now people aren't going to understand someone that's thriving because as you thrive and you you, you're moving off this momentum of self-reliance and keeping your word and following through. You see, a lot of people think that they need energy, right? The person that's coping and they're just doing the thing that feels most comfortable for them, like they're not going to expand. That's not even your competition because that person thinks they need energy. That person is, you know, you're coping, you're dependent. So you're looking for some type of signal that can give you an indication that, you're doing a good job or uh, it's going to be OK or everything's going to be fine. Like, fuck that shit. You are everything that you're pushing away and you're everything that you're drawing towards you. You just might be hard down on energy in a particular area that maybe your ego is not comfortable with. Right. Like maybe you think you should be this or you should be that. But everything else is outdoing your ego because those things are called consciousness right like your internal being is exhausted it's tired because it's trying to expand and your thoughts are pushing it down your actions your emotions are pushing it down into a coping like a, a coping frequency literally and misery loves company so in a coping stage you're easy you're easily able to attract things that make sense it'll literally be like a, a self-fulfilling prophecy when you're thriving, it works the same way, except for it's a high. It's a high and it's effective, like it's actually effective. You can look at me right now, and I don't know how long you've been following me or anything like that, but you're looking at a man that's thriving, right? And what are my actions that can solidify me thriving? And I'm not just saying I'm thriving because, because I'm doing this for you. I have gone beyond my own selfish beliefs in my own selfish system that keeps me coping, keeps me from releasing a video. I'm afraid of, of fucking up or not being able to do it in one take, or uh, 
I don't whatever the whatever bullshit. So I won't even elevate the thought because it's non-realistic for me. You feel me? But these are the actions of one that's thriving. It might just be another 10, 20 minute video for the average person because they're living an average life. Nothing means anything to them. Right. But to someone who's actually on this frequency, you are waiting for this message because you're thriving. So you're pulling towards you other energy that's thriving as well. And maybe you're not thriving as hard as I'm thriving, but I guarantee you, if you watch another video, if you go down the rabbit hole, you will start to align yourself with particular core values and internal beliefs that I have within myself that match your frequency. All right. Thriving is a complete arena of freedom not free doom like the coping person that is very dependent and codependent and needs a little push and needs a little motivation. And the sad thing about someone that's coping versus someone that's thriving, the coping person doesn't ever expand to thriving. They're they're not, a, they're afraid of the truth, right? The only way you go to thriving level of energy is by having a self-realization literally and understanding the truth is right there the whole time the truth is right there the whole time sometimes you got to talk a little mean to yourself to really get it sometimes you got to cry about it to really get it but the truth is plain as day it's always been plain as day and there's no reason for you to lie and manipulate yourself into thinking that you're thriving when you're coping you know or to even yeah, for the most part, right? Let's just say that. Because when you're thriving, all you got to do is just continue to do what you did yesterday and the day before that, and you'll continue to thrive because you'll start to feel like shit. Because you'll the rate of of the range that will be gained between you continuously sticking to your word and following through and doing things that are really hard to do and achieving it and winning every single time, you're going to grow. And that energy based on all of that input and self-love and self-worth, it'll be built up so big to whereas like for you to go back to the stage and level of coping, you would have to change your entire personality. You would have to change your daily actions. You have to change the type of food. You understand what I'm saying? For me to step down from my throne right now, I would literally have to start eating different food. I would have to live in a different area. I would have to not love you. I would have to not care about you guys. I would have to get extremely selfish. I'd have to start eating poorly and forgetting every, everything. I, I would forget everything that I went through that got me here now. And it was mainly you guys. When I really think like deeply, if I go re really deep into my heart, I always had this. I always had you guys to attach my frequency to and go beyond my selfish desires and my selfish needs. You know, like that's really what it's about. So when you're thriving, you're going to realize the truth with your real eyes. And this is why meditation is important when you're thriving, because you have to let the water settle. You got to let the dust fall so you can actually see where you're going or you can even see where you are. So many of us are moving so fast. You're not able to realize that you're already there. You're already there, but you you don't know like, yeah, this is what it looks like being there already. This is there. It looks the same. Yeah. But now you have energy. You have particular output within yourself to where you can dramatically change where you are and have it fit and supersede the type of person that you really know that you can be inside your mind. You just, it's just like a delusional disbelief. It's, it's you not really understanding and believing that you're living what you ask for already. Every time I remember that I'm living exactly what I ask for, I literally just fucking go harder because it reminds me that I win with everything I would, with everything I do in my life. I win. I win. I win. That's the feeling. That's the vibe. Coping. I eat shit food. I'm around shit people. I'm doing shit things. I, the words, the energy, like, as I'm even just thinking about it now, it makes me feel not bad. Like, I got a mosquito in here. It doesn't make me feel bad. It just makes me feel like 
it's like not ever wanting to. It's like moving out. It's just night and day, bro. It's like when you really level up, bro, like you know you leveling up once you're disgusted. Like if you don't get a level of disgust inside, like because it takes reflecting, all right? You got to get out your way. You have to understand that you're coping. You have to understand that you're you're enabling yourself. The people around you are enabling you. The food's enabling you. The music's enabling you. It's all keeping you in this fucking bubble. You have, you know, self-realization. You realize that I don't want to do this no more because I'm not dead yet. That's really my, my whole game, bro. Like, I, you see this in my other videos. I'm telling you guys. If you already knew you when you were going to die, I get it if you're just like, you know, I don't want to ride that ride. You know what I'm saying? If I tell you. Five, six months, change your life is too long. If I tell you 28 days is, you know, that could change your life. But if you knew you were going to die in two weeks and I'm telling you it's going to take 28 days, I get it if you don't want to ride that ride. Maybe you just want to hang out. You want to spend time with your family. You just want to go to hell and come back here. I get that. Right. You know, I'm just being metaphorically speaking, of course. But the truth is you're used to it. That's the truth. The truth is you're used to your bullshit. And and everybody else is fed up with it. And you're just ignoring it. You're just ignoring it. When you're thriving, you make sure you're so much on your shit. There's nothing that anyone can say. And if they say something, they're hating on something that they've already gave up on within themselves. They didn't follow through within themselves. You get what I'm saying? So you raise your value by keeping your word and following through. And your body will express that. Your actions, your everything will express that and you don't have any other place to go from here but up you're gonna like really look at the things that you're going through look at these life situations and tell me do you think it can get any worse than this however your life is right now do you think it can get any worse than this if the answer is yes then you're fucking delusional if you're moving forward right now because i probably wouldn't even want to live that life I wouldn't want to live like if you if you any I mean there's many ranges of of living but if you're someone who's just super low frequency you can't get sober you drink you party you treat yourself like shit you eat bad you got shit women around you shit things you're jacking off you're just eating poor food you're tearing yourself apart like if it can get worse than that come on you're literally crazy you're literally crazy and I don't know how this video got even recommended to you to any degree all right like new level new devil. But as a man, fuck it. As a human being, your responsibility is to be self-aware. And you know what responsibility is. If you don't, I'll break it down for you. It's a fucking skill set. All right? Once you're thriving, you're aware that responsibility is an ability to respond to fuckery at a high performance level. All right. So if you got to ignore a situation, you ignore the situation because you're going that way. If you have to push something aside and do it later or do it not at all, you do that because you're going that way. You don't put your time and your energy here anymore because you're going that way. How do you know? Because I'm here too. You feel me? And I'm here. I'm that. I'm lit. When you say, when I say that way, you're going to meet me there. You're going to meet me there. And you will be acting as such. You will be producing. You will be providing. You won't be a fucking a know-it-all. Someone who's just living in some bubble in their mind and think, oh, I'm better than... Better. Like, why used to be on that shit? I used to be on that dumb shit, too. I, I, And I don't give a fuck even if it was just last night. If it was just last night I was on that dumb shit, I'm off of it now. Because I'm awake and I'm talking to myself and I understand the truth. I understand the truth. I am the truth. I am the way. The truth is constant. You understand? The truth is constant. You can look my videos up from 2014. That's like 10 years ago. All right? Same message. Same message. Thriving for you. Pushing through for you. Because my cup runneth over. These aren't bullshit stories I'm telling myself. All right? I've done everything I've ever wanted to do. Until, I got in, until I've gotten exhausted. I've hit the level. And I came up with some fake story that I couldn't go any farther. I thought I made the money. I thought I had the girl. I thought I had the situation on lock. I thought I was here. I thought it was complete bullshit. It was, it was a lie. It was a story. I was coping. Now I see the light. I see the truth. And it's me because I'm still here. So if you want to know what the truth is, bro, the truth is anything that's constant. 
It's just kind of the same story day one. Same story day one. Some of y'all living the same story since day one. And that that chapter is over. You feel me? That chapter is over. It should have been over a long time ago. And a lot of you guys are just on chapter fucking one. Okay? I'm talking about individuals who are on chapter 500. This is a masterpiece. It's still in creation. This is bigger than the Bible. This is a life work of action, powering, figuring it out, losses, wins, losses, wins, 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 losses, wins, 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 wins. A couple more losses after that don't even matter. You're unbreakable. You're untouchable. You're God body. It's all within you. Now, I ain't talking to everybody because I know I look like a nice guy. I look like I won't level you up or take you out. But you got to keep in mind, this is honesty here. If I'm not talking to you, make it so I'm talking to you. Make it so you're looking at me. You're like, yep, this is good content. Let me, I'm, you know, I'll talk about this on my channel. You feel me? So it's like, don't, don't, don't misunderstand what real value is when someone is thriving. All right. Don't let your ego just tell you that you're doing something. And you're in the background clapping, and then you're also in the audience. You're like, hey, man, good job. It's like, yeah, I get that. But come on. Are you are you changing lives? Are you powering anyone through? If not, go change your life and power yourself through. And when you're done, you come back. And now you can level everybody up with you. So instead of me not liking men and thinking that people's, whatever the, the society has transformed individuals to be, I'm just going to be the man myself. I'm going to lead by example, and I'm going to produce content for free that you can use and absorb and adapt so that when you get into my free communities, when you get into my worlds, when you get on the coaching call, when you get on our groups, when you tap into elevation, when you really start to power up, you're not coming in like a dodo head. You're coming in with creativity, coming through with power, with self-mastery, with urgency, with the proper diet, with the proper, uh, with the proper physique, or you're working towards the proper physique. Right. We're not solving small time coping type issues. This video isn't even for someone that is coping. This is for someone that is not aware of where they are. You feel me? You're not aware of where you are. That's why you'd be watching this type of video right now. So I'm letting you know this thing I'm talking about when it comes to thriving. If you can match that vibe, you're thriving. I'm not talking about you. you still need to tap into a call with me because I'd love to meet another person who's thriving so I can learn from you as well. But. I'm always going to be listening to Source Energy first and foremost, but I take pieces from everybody as I go along because I have an open mind, all right? So pick a side, family. See where you are on the spectrum of your higher self and your lower self, your higher conscious, your lower conscious. Are you in? Are you out? Are you high frequency or are you low frequency, family? It's very easy. You can just get this, the scale from David Hawkins. Just Google David Hawkins frequency scale. He will give it to you straight right there. Boom, at the bottom, the last level you can feel is guilt, shame. You can feel like shit. The highest level is enlightenment, gratitude, and so on, right? So as I get into flow state and I live through these videos and I talk with you and I'm just expanding, I'm just talking to you. I'm literally talking. I'm not even looking at myself. I'm looking at just a camera lens. But this is flow state, baby. This is jungle. and This is jungle supreme right now. I'm at supreme right now. And look how small I am. I'm only six foot. I'm only six foot, like 210 pounds or something like that. I'm small right now. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. You're going to see expansion. You're going to see growth. It's all going to be due right here to just keeping my word, following through. I don't push the button and think of making content. which just flew in my house. Little wasp. I don't push the button. And think of like, oh, I'm going to make content. I'm just giving the message. I'm giving the message. I'm releasing what I have within. So if this is for you and you can hear it, let's do what we got to do, right? It's really that simple. Elevation is my new program that I've just released a few days ago. I'll be talking about it until I'm tired of talking about it, until it's completely packed and it's completely full, all right? We're taking you from where you are right now, any type of coping, any type of derp state of mind, and giving you the tools and the systems 
that you need to thrive and elevate your consciousness, your bank account, your body, and so on. All right. So you can click the link below and tap into my free community. Message me when you're inside and you can ask me about elevation. If you want to know more about it, I will break it down to you. It's simple, private, high level coaching, not for the average basic individual who doesn't like to wake up on time, follow through with their word and, you know, think highly as possible of themselves. If you're right here, I will get you higher. Literally, I will do that. I will break you from level to level to level. Mind, body, and business. I've been doing it since 16 years old. I have a very amazing life. I have a great track record, and I'm not here to convince anybody. I just have this energy. I just have this life. I have this in me, so I'm giving it like I've been giving it. You feel me? And it's really just that simple. If you like this content, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Real J McPherson. Click the link. Join my free communities as well as tap into the prosperity ritual. It is an extremely powerful guide that I have created. It's on knowledgeofthejungle.com. All links are below this video. You tap into the prosperity ritual. You'll also get a one-on-one -on -one call with me where I will guide you through that ritual and you will see your life magically change in a very dramatic way as my life has changed as well. You understand? And the thing about energy, frequency, and just growth, it just sneaks into your reality. It just sneaks into your reality. Like, it's not just a switch. Like, my videos might give you that switch. Like, oh, let me, let me, you know, let me jump on board. Let me get the, let me get the program. Let me blah, blah, blah. But the effects, it will sneak into your reality. It'll come a point where you're, you'll start to hear my voice in your head before you do stupid shit. You'll start to feel my energy with you as you're doing hard tasks that are designed for just pure growth, adversity but growth. You feel me? So it's a rabbit hole of energetic input and output that we're going through. And we will continue to go through this until forever. Cause there is no ending to this. All right. Nothing but love. I will see you when you see me. All right. Welcome to knowledge of the jungle. Very excited to have you here. This is a free community focused on personal growth and internal transformation. So if you're someone looking for a like-minded community with individuals who are focused and serious about change, reaching higher states of consciousness, spiritual transformation, financial transformation, deep conversations, and so on. This is the place for you. All right. As you can see, we're just getting started, but we have members on board and we're about to tap inside the community so you can see what it looks like and see if this is any interest for you. All it is is a frequency you have to get on if you're trying to experience the change. So as you can see, we have members in here. The goal of this group is for transformation and us sharing what works. So you have members asking questions about deeper insights and towards things, certain testimonials right here. We have Jessica Gibson, as you can see, she just has a great story, you know, and she talks about how she went from nothing to something. And now she's very much financially stable and she's been using the information that I teach on my channel and the information that's in this group as far as the practices go. You can see this area is general discussion, book recommendations, occult knowledge, shadow work, money manifestations, magic, the basics, and so on. These are guaranteed what you need in order to elevate. You must have a deep understanding or at least a basic understanding on what you can do, right? So this group is extremely powerful. You can also see inside the classrooms here, which are added every week. As you can see, these are all at zero because this is my personal account. So I'm the one creating the courses. I'm not going through it. But as you go through the course, you'll have this progress bar that can keep you on point and hold you accountable. Right now, if you would like to reach out and get on board with the program personally with me, you can simply click this link, sign up for the one-on-one -on -one coaching, fill out the form, make sure you qualify and so on. We have the magic class, magic 101. This is a very detailed personal one-on-one -on -one class that I teach that takes you from whatever money you have, whatever level of consciousness you have, and we advance it. It's a few hours worth of speaking with one another, but we advance you to a completely different being mentally so that you can start drawing towards you all the things in this world that you desire in a very magical, ceremonial, ritualistic way, all right? It's a very deep class, but it works, all right? 
We have my audiobook Detox 2020, Hidden Lecture. Get on board, get inside the community, and get on the leaderboard because inside the leaderboard, you'll be able to have much perks. If this group is something that interests you, all you have to do is click the button that you see on the screen that says join now. You join, answer the simple questions, and make sure that you download the school app, right? You have to download, you don't have to, but it makes much sense a much more faster rather than logging into desktop. All right, so that's it. My name is Jay McPherson. This video, I hope, gives you some insight to the community. We would love to have you if this matches your frequency. If you're ready to be serious and move forward, this is the place for you. This is the place for you. You can reach out to me. You can reach out to any of our admins. You can send emails. You can send DMs. You can take yourself from where you are to the world in which you really want to be. And this is a path for you to follow. All right. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you on the other side.